JavaScript objects are very easy to use and uh, very handy. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to create a simple JavaScript object. So the object that I will be creating is called person. So we're going to create a person object, which will need a first name, a last name, and age. So you can see it basically just looks like a function, and inside of this function we can have this dot first name equals first, and we'll say this dot last name equals last and finally this dot age equals age. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I just created the uh, object right there. I'm going to create a new person now. So I will create a new variable me and I will say new person. So this person's name is Tony Lee and age 32. Okay, so now I can console log and I can say me dot first name. So now if I go ahead and, and run this code, you can see that it prints out my first name. I can then change that to last name or age, and sure enough, it will print that out as well. So then what I can do is I can go me dot first name equals Bob. So I can change the first name. So then if I console logged the first name right after this, it will change my name and it will show in the output. So I will say me dot first name. And if I print this out, sure enough, we have the new name Bob right there. So now we can create as many people as we wanted to. So we could say person two equals new person. We could say John Doe and say that John Doe is 30 years old. So then we could simply console log person two dot first name. And sure enough, we are going to get John if we run this code. So you can see just how easy it is to uh, create like a person object, and then you could reuse this in your code. Obviously the object will probably be a lot more complex, but that is just a simple rundown of how to use JavaScript objects.